guys, welcome back to another Team Fortress 2. <sighs> welcome back to another Team Fortress 2 reading. So I'm going to do, um, after this one, I'm going to do, um, another Team Fortress 2 comic because I have nothing better to do but to make videos. So, uh, yeah. This time, I'm going to read Blood Brothers. So let's get started. Alamo Astonishment in the Mighty Manco Manor. Manco licensed Alamo fiction. Sexton Hale presents... Sexton Hale! Okay, <laughs> sorry. Alamo Suspends Stories. The only comic that guarantees a murder at the Alamo in every issue. In this Alamo packed ish murder at the Alamo, you won't believe the terrifying answer. Spacebar. Yippee die! Abominable. I can't even. I can't say abominable. Abominable. Ella minions. After my after my terrifying trip to the South Pole and our last anxiety-inducing ish, I fell vacation to warmer climate. What was just what the doctor horrored. So many puns. <laughs> I feel like down in the comments, everyone's gonna groan. Luckily, two old fo fools rented me for a meeting in New Mexico. Read on Fort Fine Fort Fiends because they're about to get a bit more than they bargained for in the rental agreement, or should I say, rental bereavement, in a story I call Blood Brothers. Space Park. Badlands Moon. New mix it was sometime in the future. <clears throat> Redman. Uh, <clears throat> I can't do my old my uh, I can't do my old man voice anymore. Redman, we have engaged in a fruitless war fruitless war for a hundred years. We have no hairs, and now we are out of time. Thanks to our pointless bickering, the man family will die with us. It kills me to even say it, but I know that I think you know what I intend to purpose. propose. I mean, <laughs> I can't read it. I despise it with every atom of my being, but yes, it's the only solution that makes sense. Why couldn't, why couldn't Seth and I, a man, like, reproduce female... <laughs> We must, brother, please. I'm not even gonna do it anymore. Nope, nope. I, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, wait, that was Redmond. Dismiss the help first. Leave us, now. Redmond, I propose a truce. So that we can build a machine to make one of us pregnant. Hmm, of course. That's a horrible idea. My one concern, brother. It's not possible this plan is too perfect. Difficult to say, honestly. I can find no flaw in it. Nor, nor I. So, it's a deal? Yes. I must say, Redmond, I was... It was big of you to suggest this meet. That tear-stained letter you sent me. What? You sent me a tear stained letter. Gentlemen. My name is Grey Man. I am your brother, and I sent the letters proposing this truce. Which, I might add, it took you literally thirty seconds to turn into an idiotic crime against nature. Congratulations. Redmond, who is this? I just told you who I... I don't know, brother, but you could be the key of helping us build our pregnancy machine. You there, young man, are you mechanically inclined? <laughs> yes, you could say that. Someone's screaming! Well, thank heavens for small mercy. At least she's finally stopped screaming. Man-manner. Uh, 1822. I forgot to read that. 
read that. Turn the page. Hello, darling. Uh, as I was saying, Barnabas, if the sites of inf of infestation are indeed multiplying, so is there need for munitions. Munitions we can... Mr. Man? Sir? Well? Your wife, sir, she didn't make it. Did he? Yes, well, and the child? Children, sir. Three boys. Good. At least she did something right. Take me to them. Strapping alert. Strapping alert. Handsome. Hmm. They'll do. Wait. Where's the third child? Sir, he's... He came out so small. And there's something you should know about him. Show him to me. Hello, father. You can talk, sir. Father! Ah, smother it! When suddenly... Eagle attack! Eagle attack! <gasps> Yay. <laughs> Curse you, demon bird! I'll smother you both! That's a weird way of saying it. What is happening? You could talk as a newborn. Mm, I learned in the womb, listening to our mother. I also invented in a new form of algebra to pass the time. We were late. We were a late birth, you recall. Yet I was born weak, and that was something our father could never accept. Luckily, provi providence intervened in the form of the great eagle of scourge of 1822. I was raised by the eagle, as if I was one of her own frail, helpless. I was fed grubs and mice, accepted along her other children, kept warm at night, nestled in her feathery breast. And when I was strong enough, brothers, I ate her and all her children and crawled back to civilization. Unlike you pampered imbeciles, I built my empire. I have studied, I have plotted, I have waited. And for a hundred and for a hundred and fifty years I've watched you squander my father's fortune. Your god for God's sake, you bought the Alamo and flew it to New Mexico for a meeting. Where technically we rent and in all the time you spent fighting this asinine war over worthless pits of gravel. You have not once considered our true birthright. And the only thing in this heck blasted landscape actually worth fighting for. 600, 67, 668. Come on, other arm, pull your weight. Right arm's embarrassing you. Worthless bits of gravel. Huh. You poor fool, whoever owns those pits would be a god. What do you think powers the world's steam engines? Coal. No gra- No, it really is coal. Or it was. Engines run on gasoline now. Graveline, eh? Well, semantics, it's all gravel in the end, of course. Gasoline. And no, it's not. Again, it's truly, truly not. Fuh. And where will the world be when all this fanciful liquid gravel of yours runs out? No, I have it. We simply need to create a machine that turns gravel into coal. And that coal will power our pregnancy machine so we can't... Uh, don't worry, it's just dead for a moment. He'll come back and I... No. I think I've heard enough. No, please wait. We have so much gravel left to fight over. We... And I think that was the end. Just wait.
Nope. And, um, nope, that was it. So, I'm not gonna read the rest of the part because it's just commercial things. And so, uh, yeah, that was Blood Brothers. I really like this comic because it shows the backstory of the man brothers. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, that was, uh, I felt very uncomfortable sometimes. But, uh, I really like Gray Man. He's a very interesting character. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm in Trafford's with you. And, uh, yeah. I think I forgot to say I'm in Trafford's with you in the other video. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, I had so many pictures left. So uh yeah. That was yeah, Blood Brothers and stuff. So uh, bye bye.